With the recent figures released by Stats SH that show a staggering 36% of our youth are unemployed in South Africa, the question of how to stem the crisis is this in, in the spotlight once again. Now, so what happens when you take 15 high school uh, student dropouts and give them a second chance? A life-changing series on SABC2 called Dream School Essay has attempted to do just that with a group of passionate celebrity teachers who share their knowledge and passions in an attempt to turn these 15 kids' lives around. Here's a sneak peek. The dream schoolers are divided by language, <laughs> politics. How many people struggle to get a job? Here? The Somalians is creating his own job and historical identities. She says she doesn't like black. I'm uh, taking offense because I'm black. You can't tell me <laughs> who to like and who not to like. It's our country very finicky. We like to walk on eggshells around each other. You must say it. We must make this better. <laughs> I want the world to be a better place. No crime, no hate toward other people and cultures. Throughout every challenge that you experience, there's always choices you can make that are good for you. And our dreams are changed and gone. There is not one single piece of junk in front of me. And you are going to prove it. You want to be a successful rapper. You're going to work 10 hours a day, otherwise you won't get to the top. Empower each other, uplift each other. That is the only way you get through. This cannot be stressed enough. You're going to do it. That's why you're at school. That's what we fought for. Definitely, it can be a life-changing experience. You've got a lot of talent. And your potential talent is there. Dream school for me is just like a ticket out. I want to show my mom. She can tell people that was my child. She finished school. Wow. Joining us in studio to talk about the remarkable success of the Dream School, Anelim Dotter, the presenter, Johan Folstiet, Tim Butcher, and one of the learners, Simpiwe. Good morning to you all and welcome to the show. I can't help but just smile I when know, I right? look at that, right? Do you know what? For me, I'd smile and then I was crying. I, I, I never knew I was such a crybaby until, <laughs> I promise you, because you, you, you go on this emotional journey with them. Yeah. And I think I was just blessed to have such an amazing team as well. I mean, Johan was um, the, the headmaster yes. and he, uh, he loves education and he he just loves empowering kids. So. Yeah. And talk, talk to me a bit uh, first, Anel, about what the aim was in terms of achievement, the goal that you had in your mind when you started with Dream School. My specific goal was to reintroduce education because mm -hmm. I loved school. And that's because it was always presented to me in a, in a different way. Like yeah. for, from the way my parents were to the way my teachers were, I mean, I fell in love with reading, which is why I, I you know, the, I am where I am, to be fair, because I, I love to read and I love to research and mm -hmm. that's, that, that's really all the, you know, the necessities of my job. And yeah. that was taught to me in school. I didn't learn that anywhere else. Yeah. And so it was just the way it was packaged. It was fun for me. So for me, I wanted to introduce it that way and to just zero in on what people are good at immediately. Yeah. Yeah. So you can, you know, you can cut the fat out. Yeah. And Johan, speaking of zeroing in, something that you had to do very quickly was establish the challenges that these learners were facing and addressing them immediately. So what were some of those challenges and how did you work towards facing them? They have many challenges, both as far as schooling is concerned, many of them as far as their circumstances are concerned at home. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we had to do was to get to know them because we suddenly, we were thrown together from all ends of the earth, yes. literally, and had to get to know them. We had to establish trust between the groups oh, and between ourselves so that we could really speak and get into in depth into their problems yeah. and how we could assist them yeah. to improve. I think we, we managed that quite well. Yeah. There were many barriers that we had to cross, uh, but we did that yeah. simply by showing them that we trust them. Yeah. There's a saying that says, trust creates trust. And we, I think we were able to do that so that they could eventually tell us their, their whole stories and their mm, true stories. Yeah. And from there we could go further and do something for them. Yeah. We had a, it was shown there now on the clip, a girl from Lumenthal who taught maths, Nazi, and she told them her life story, how she was raped, how her father killed her mother in front of her. And mm. that changed, I think, the mm. whole show in the sense that they now knew that there are actually worse circumstances than their own, yeah. and it's possible to overcome those. Yeah. Tim, tell me a bit more about your experience as one of the celebrity teachers brought onto the show, and you know how you learned about what essentially I think our kids need in South Africa in order to reach their full potential. Well, you see a school like this, and you think it's about the students learning. Frankly, for me as a teacher, I was learning, because mm. I'm, I'm enjoying, I'm touching on some experiences we've just mentioned here, which are way beyond my ken. So before, until you can understand the background of people, how can you start changing yeah. them? But we were filming at a very moving time in South Africa. It was June last year. People forget that, but Madiba was ill. 
yeah. was very ill and he was in our minds. And what did Modiba leave behind him? What was the thing? He drilled home the legacy. Education, education, education. education. The most it's the thing. only way that we're going to break the cycle, yeah. not just here in South Africa, but around the world. Yeah. And so that's the, that's the thing that I got out of it. Yeah. Simpiwe, you are one of the recipients of that gift yeah. of education through Dream School. Tell me about how has it changed your life being a part of this project? Um, it changed my life like in many kinds of ways. Like now when I go somewhere walking around here in Cape Town.